previously on Dragon Ball Deep Space, with Peace finally returning to planet Vegeta and the rest of the galaxy, Bardock and Gine were preparing to receive Kakarot and his family from Earth as visitors as they went around on a little bit of a space vacation. However, Bardock then received some distressing news. Yes, Lord Frieza is still alive, and now having to face the conundrum of possibly cancelling the family vacation in order to deal with Lord Frieza again. What will Bardock do? Find out. Now. Hi, family. Goodbye, family. Lord Frieza is still alive. Freeze is still alive. Damn it! What am I going to tell the family? Kakarot and his family are supposed to be here for a vacation. Not to be drawn to our problems. Gine is not gonna like this. Damn it, how do I tell her? Just believe you me. She can be scary sometimes. Alright, it's settled. I will deal with Freeza myself. My family is not to get involved. How to put a stop to this family vacation. Hey, Bardock. What's the matter with you? You actually look like you've seen a ghost or something. You're not far off, Nappa. You're not far off. Huh. Hey, didn't you say that Kakarot was coming to visit today, along with his entire Earth family? Yes. Should be here any minute. Why's that? Well, the last time I was on Earth, Balmer and Chi Chi were inquiring me about my garden and wanted me to create a garden for them. And so, I was kind of hoping you could send Kakarot and his family down here and they could check out the garden for themselves and see if this is something they might want. Oh, I see. You're trying to squeeze out business from my family, huh, Nappa? No, it's not like that at all. I'm quite happy to do it for free. Relax, I'm kidding. Of course I'll send them your way. No problem. Thank you, Bardock. You're a real pal. Don't mention it. Why did I make a promise like that? Maybe I should just try to relax. As King Vegeta said, it all just may turn out to be some ridiculous hoax perpetrated by former Freeza Force soldiers. Meanwhile, in the far reaches of space, Lord Frieza was making his plans. Dr. Mew, are you absolutely sure your creations will be able to help me get my revenge against the Saiyans? Oh, absolutely, Lord Frieza. I've worked really hard on these creations. After all, they are made similar of you. And well, I managed to increase your power, did I not? Ah, very well, Dr. Mew. You do have a point there. Yes, I think these creations of yours will work out very nicely. Now, bring Tora back in here with me. I wish to have a word with the Saiyan. Very well, Lord Freezer. But what about the other two Saiyans we captured? Oh, don't you worry about that, Dr. Mew. I'm sure I'll think of something. Now, send in Tora. What do you want from me now? Oh, nothing much, monkey. Just a friendly little chat, really. I would like to know how it is you found me in the first place. Obviously, you've been out looking for me. I want to know how you got word that I was even alive. <laughs> well, Frieza, you've gone sloppy. You've been out of the game too long. Oh, really? Do tell. Tell me, Tora, where is it I went wrong exactly? It's simple, Frieza. My team and I were patrolling a planet we were asked to guard. 
Our job was to protect them from invaders. Well, Vasha got word that a nearby planet was destroyed by, as it turns out, your vessel. Oh, I see. And how exactly did the story come out? <laughs> a Galactic Patrol spaceship spotted you. And well, after we were done with that job, on our way back home to planet Vegeta, we just happened to spot your ship and begun our investigation and attacked. And well, you simply know the rest. You caught us. Well, most of us. Oh yes, that's right. Fasha. She did manage to get away, didn't she? Yeah. And by now, she'd be almost home with Planet Vegeta. Ready to prove that you're alive. And then every Saiyan will be out to hunt you down. Oh dear me, Tora. Don't you see the big picture? I let her escape. I want those monkeys to know I'm coming for them. And well, if they're stupid enough to come out looking for me, I'll be happy to blast them into oblivion. And when that elite wannabe Bardock comes after me, I will happily rid the cosmos of him. You underestimated Bardock before, and he put you down, remember? You'll be more than happy to do it again. You and your kind have underestimated the Saiyans at every turn. Bardock has put you down before, Frieza. He'll do it again. Just like he did your father, and then your brother. Do you really want to go for four? Oh, my dear Tora. I would go for a billion if it meant finally wiping you filthy sands from existence once and for all! Is that a fact? Yeah! What? Yeah! Oh! Oh! Be lucky I don't end your life right here and now, monkey. No. Bardock should be present when I end your life. As for your other two teammates, well, I thought of another use for them. You bastard. You won't get away with this. Oh, my dear Tora, I already have. Uh, boom, I'm bored. We nearly played at the gym yet? Ugh. For the millionth time, Goku! Yes! We're nearly there! Look! I am about to land right now! So can you just be patient for one more minute? Oh look! They're finally here! Bardock! Barney! Raditz! Quick! They're here! What? My brother is here? Hey, Raditz, I'll raise ya! Ha! Bring it on, little sister! Bardock, what's wrong? You seem distracted by something. Is everything alright? It's nothing, Kine. It's nothing the matter. Huh? Well, let's just not stand there. Let's get out there and welcome the family, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're acting weird, Bardock. What? I don't know what you're talking about, Kine. Now why are we just standing there? The family's right there. Oh, sweet! I'm finally back on Planet Vegeta! And looks like they really cleaned the place up since we got rid of Cooler. Wow, so many powerful warriors here! Eee! But first... Can I get something to eat? I'm starving! Ha! Huh. Well, that certainly sounds like my brother! Huh. Raditz! Long time no see, eh, Kakarot? Raditz, you cheated on that last corner! You know going Super Saiyan is against the rules of racing? Ha! Huh. I don't remember reading that in the rule book! Well, it is, 
and you know it, you big meanie! <laughs> well, I see you two haven't changed at least. Yeah, I'll say. You're just as annoying as ever, Raditz. Huh? The green man came too! Well, actually, we all came. Yeah, long time no see, Raditz! Ha! Huh. Yamcha! Krillin! Hey, Uncle Raditz! <laughs> Come on! It's awesome that you came too! I remember when we were hanging out together in the hyperbolic time chamber. You remember? <laughs> of course I remember that, Barney! It was lots of fun! I'm glad you all made it safely. Wow, Kakarot. When you said you were bringing your whole Earth family, you weren't kidding. <laughs> well, it's not every day we get to go out to space. So, so, why not bring everyone? Well, it's just a good thing I made extra tonight. Wow, I heard Goku and Bardock look alike, but this is ridiculous. I might have a hard time telling my husband apart from his father. Ha! Huh. Fat Chad's making that mistake! Bardock has a tail. Kakarot doesn't. And not really mistaking that particular scar on my father's face. Ha <laughs> Well, you certainly have a point there, Raditz. That reminds me. Nappa was looking for you too. Something about... Last time he visited your planet, you were inquiring about his gardening. He wanted you to check out his garden to see if this is what you roughly wanted for your gardens. Oh yes, that's right, I almost forgot about that. Well, how do we get to Nappa's? Don't worry about that, Bulma and sister-in-law, Chi-Chi. I can get you down there lickety-split. Whoa, wait! <laughs> yeah! Well... Looks like they're off. Uh, did she just say lickety split? It's those damn manga she keeps bringing back from Earth. I told you, Kakarot, don't let Barney read that garbage. Oh, but I couldn't help it. She seems to enjoy him. I'm not going to deny her. We don't need our Saiyan culture being corrupted by your earthly filth. Hey, buddy, watch it. Yeah, that's our culture you're talking about. Ha! Huh, and what are you going to do about it? Boys, enough of this. I will not have any rough housing right now. This is supposed to be a family vacation. We're supposed to be having fun. Now get in the house! Trust me, boys. You're better off just doing what Gine tells you. Trust me. My wife can be very scary when she wants to be. I, uh, see your point, sir. That's right, boys. Trust me, I'm just like any other saying here. You wouldn't want me to go ape, now would you? <laughs> Y'all sure I'm scared. <laughs> T tell me about it. Ha! That's right. Tremble before my mother. After a long day of catching up, and the boys with their little bit of roughhousing, Everyone finally got settled. And while well, Bulma and Chi Chi had returned from Nappa's, after agreeing this is exactly the setup they want back at Capsule Corp and also Chi Chi's home, they sat down to a nice, relaxing meal. Needless to say, with all those Saiyans there, was it really ever enough? And after that, everyone seemed to retire to their rooms. Except for Bardock and Gine, who got a surprise visit. Hello, Bardock. I hope I'm not interrupting. King Vegeta? King Vegeta? What are you doing here at this late hour? Don't worry me, Gine. I'm just here to have a quick word to your husband, that's all. I know... I realize I'm interrupting family time, and I do apologize. Please, think nothing of it. You know you're welcome at our house any time, Vegeta. After all, you're practically a part of this family. 
That's very kind of you, Kine. Bardock. Is there some place where we can talk alone? Yeah, absolutely. Follow me. Have you given any more thought about what we were discussing earlier? Yes. I'm afraid it still worries me. Just the thought of that evil bastard being alive. I've already discussed this with Raditz. We're willing to take a ship and put an end to this right now. Put an end to Lord Freezer once and for all. Lord Freezer, what's that? Huh? Kakarot! Kakarot? What are you doing up? Oh, please, I couldn't sleep. Too excited! Planet Vegeta! All these warriors and fighters? How can I sleep? Plus, it's never a good idea to go to bed on a full stomach. Hey, is that Freezer guy the reason you've been acting weird all day? Weird? What do you mean, Kakarot? My mom was saying it earlier, you've been acting weird all day. So, what is this Freezer? Is he really strong? Well, obviously he's really strong, otherwise you wouldn't be worried about him so much. Well, I see when Gine was on your planet, she didn't tell you much about what happened. Lord Frieza was the one who tried to wipe out our entire race. He's the brother of Cooler. The brother of Cooler? Eee! Kakarot, you wouldn't be so excited if you heard all about what this ruthless bastard has done. All the worlds he enslaved and conquered. He is nothing like King Cold, and he is certainly worse than Cooler. I would take Cooler any day over Freezer. Wow, it's really that bad? Of course it's that bad, you don't! Well, oh, Vegeta, you don't have to get so mad. Ah, oh, you idiot! You remember how Cooler beat us within an inch of our lives? We barely got out of this one, and now his brother, Freezer, has come back! Do you not understand the seriousness of this? IDIOT! Gee, jeez, I get it. He's a bad dude. Ugh. Tough planet. Hey, what's that? Space pod, one of ours. What? Basha? What happened to you? Bardock! It was him! Lord! Frieza! He's returned! <laughs>